an electric lawnmower and um, I thought for fun and because in the, when I first started this e-bike uh, everyone was running them off of power packs so I've got quite a meaty power pack off this mower it's a 56 volt 6 amp hour um, lithium battery so I've made up some connectors to jam into the terminals and uh, I'll stick the uh, power meter on there and just see what we can pull from it. This thing must have some kind of BMS or something inside it, but it's 56 volt, uh, 6 amp hour, so it should whiz the bike along fairly well. Right, there you so go. This charge is super quick. Uh, that was 25% full. I think that only took about 20 minutes to charge it from sort of 25 to 50% full. Really, did. it's forced air cooled as well. You can get the seven and a half amp hour version of this one now. I just looked on Amazon for two six nine, so that's fifty six volts, seven and a half amp hour. I mean, that's you know that's that's better quality and cheaper than a lot of genuine e-bike batteries go. So, I've checked on the watts up meter. This thing that will accept up to sixty volts, so we should be okay. Um, just stick these in the back of it and um, take it out on the bike, and then I'll just report back to see if it worked and didn't trip out. There's the back of the battery. And you can see these, um, to obviously just double check, but you've got the negative there, positive there, and then that's a temperature sensor. It's not actually used, obviously. So you can just stick the, get that to focus, stick the, um, stick the terminal in there like that, and then I'll stick the other one in that one, and stick it on the bike. There it is in the back. Mm, just going so that definitely work with no cutouts. 31.5 miles an hour maximum speed on the flat that was and we'll just have a look at the battery voltage and amps all right uh, we used 0.33 amp per hours and the uh, maximum amps was 36 the volts dropped to 33.3 .3 from 57 and the maximum power was 1.9 kilowatts so double check that again yeah so 1.9 kilowatts nearly two kilowatts with that battery so yeah, that's pretty decent. I'll put um, links in the description so you can see where you can go to get one of these batteries from. But if you're after a, a, a good quality, um, high capacity battery, and you don't want to make one up yourself, and you want something with a guarantee and a warranty and a BMS and everything else, then oh yeah, that's a pretty good option.